let me just give you, I, I know uh, some of you may have been uh, using some other products that are, that are kind of similar to this. And, you know, let me just kind of, just to try to give you the appreciation of how advanced this product is. You know, there, there is a product out there that is called Afterglow. You know, it's been, it, it's been kind of popular. But when you really look at a comparison of, of ARM to a product like Afterglow, it's pretty much day and night in terms of, you know, what you're getting in terms of value in ARM as compared to another competitor's product. So, for example, in ARM, uh, in terms of the protein content, you actually get 40% more protein per serving than a product like Afterglow comparing the 20 grams to 28 grams. So you're getting a lot more protein, plus you're getting kind of a, a combination of proteins, not just the WPI, but also getting the WPC. In terms of carbohydrates, even though the same number of grams per serving, ARM has 59% uh, sugars, but in a, in a product like Afterglow, you've got 81% of the carbohydrate coming from sugar. And they're using a, a sugar called evaporated cane juice, which is just another a fancy name for sucrose, which is just table sugar. So it's obviously very cheap, very sweet, but a product like that is primarily just giving you a bunch of sugar. 81% uh, of the carbohydrate is sugar. In terms of creatine, we're giving you a 50% higher concentration of creatine, uh, 1,500 milligrams in the arm complex compared to the, the 1,000 milligrams. So you're getting 50% more creatine. You're getting 82% higher levels of leucine in the BCAA complex that you find in arm. Some of the ingredients, which is uh, very interesting, would not be standardized, you know, in the product like Afterglow on their label, they just list uh, pomegranate powder, and nobody knows, you know, what type of standardization that may be. Pomegranate uh, is a very interesting ingredient, you know, it's primarily an antioxidant, but uh, nobody knows if it's standardized to polyphenols or elagic acid or punic halogen. So, you know, just kind of throwing in a little powder there, which can be pretty cheap, or a grapeseed extract, no information on standardization. The grapeseed extract that we would use in a formula would be a highly standardized polyphenol, up to 90% polyphenols. And they list Cissus quadrangularis. I have no idea why that would be in a product, a recovery product, because that's primarily a weight loss ingredient, you know, a little bit of phosphatidylserine. Again, no real scientific rationale. So, you know, just kind of giving you an idea of a comparison to, some, to a product, you know, that may be in the same category and, and you know, no heat shock protein supporters, no GLUT4 uh, activators. Uh, and things like that that really, you know, kind of sets ARM apart. So, you know, hopefully, you know, the science is, is interesting to you, and, uh, you know, we try to put together great science, great taste uh, into a product that really is functionally work in terms of maximizing anabolism recovery, and, uh, you know, hopefully uh, it's, it's well received. And, uh, you know, you enjoy that. There's no gluten in the product. It's, uh, you know, the serving information, two scoops of 64 grams. You can kind of mix it up. It's a pretty much kitchen sink, all-encompassing product. There's really nothing that you need to add to the product. It's really the, the complete post-exercise formulations. You know, we hope everyone enjoys it and it does well in the marketplace.